All the movement within the planet Earth start at the core of the planet, where we had the heat from the time of the creation of the solar system due to the impact of the small planets to each other, created a convection. First, it caused melting of the planetesimal and then layering it into three different layers of core mantle and crust. The mantle has convection in the, ca in the case of the Earth, and this convection creates cracks on the surface of the crust of the Earth, creating what we call as continents or plates. And these plates move and they open up and they close down oceans. One of the most famous oceans is the Thetis Ocean, the remnants of which is the Persian Gulf, Caspian Sea, Black Sea, and the Mediterranean Sea. Creation of this uh, ocean and the closure of it is a subject of this video is related to that. The Iranian plateau was started when the Paleothetis Ocean was closing down due to the breakdown of the Gondwana. And the Gondwana, when it closed down on the process, created arcs of islands. Like what we see in Indonesia, these island arcs were eventually joining together from the Africa, which is the remnants and the core of the Gondwana, to the Eurasia, all joining together and ending up as a solid mass, as what we call as the uh, Iranian plateau. Similar to what India has done with the Tibet, we had it here. The island arcs that created Iran are very similar to what we have in plateau of the Tibet at the moment and what we will have in future of the Indonesian islands. At the moment, you see that these islands are very similar to the island arcs that existed in Iran and now being created, recreated, we should say, in the Mediterranean by the push of the African plate northward. You can see it here again, the Africa breaking down the core of the Gondwana, Arabian plate, and before that, Indian subcontinent pushing northward and creating the landmass of Iran and Tibet here in this case. At the boundary of the uh, uh, plates, we have this subduction zone in Iran and this is called the Macron subduction or accretion wedge in front of it. But when the slab of the ocean across goes down, it comes back to the surface as a volcano. And this is the distance, 500 kilometers or more, between the trench, oceanic trench, and the volcano. In Iran, this uh, distance, of course, is shorter. And when it goes a little bit toward the northeast, inside the Afghanistan and Pakistan, it becomes a little bit more than 500 kilometers. There is a reason for that. We know it now why this has happened. In this area, our seismic uh, measurements has shown two different uh, slopes for the uh, plate, oceanic plate going down. And we think there is a detachment of this oceanic plate creating this uh, phenomenon we see. So in Iranian part, the volcanoes are closer to the trench, oceanic trench. This is a unique location because in the Eurasia, we don't have many of these kind of subduction zones. We have it here. And this has created one of the most famous volcanoes in Iran, Taftan. If you are grown up in Iran and have been in primary school, you hear about these kind of volcanoes, most famous being Damavan, Sabalan, and Taftan. Taftan means molten rock and something which is molten by fire. And people go there. This is a 4,000 meter almost uh, high mountain. People go there. There are fumaroles and uh, you can see actually the fumaroles uh, emitting gases. These are sulfur gases. And the, uh, the volcano is actually quite high. So it, in parts of the year, it can be covered with the snow and uh, uh, is a challenging uh, visit, of course, for many. Uh, and as you can see here, we have two summits here. One of them, I've marked it here, has a cap, I call it felsic uh, dome or felsic plug that cause uh, explosive eruptions when this uh, felsic caps um, blows up. We had in the past an example of it is the, we see here evidence for the older Tafton 
and the new Tafton after the uh, initial explosion has was created sitting on top of it and this one also may uh, blow up in future who knows uh, but at the moment we have fumarole activity we consider it as dormant in a way and uh, fumarole activity sometimes uh, may even be so active that we see molten sulfur on the summit of this volcano. There are reports about the eruptions at different uh, times in the 20th century and uh, we expect another one happening anytime because we are seeing evidence. And that is in the form of the annual or yearly uplift of the ground by 11 centimeters. There are two scenarios or two uh, or two ways to understand this. One is that at a depth of 500 meters almost, we have a hydrothermal system blocked by the uh, hydrothermal fluid deposits and then creating a pressure of the gas and this gas pressure leading to the rise of the whole mountain summit. In this case, this is just a shallow uh, system that is actually rising the uh, summit of the volcano Tafton. But there is another scenario possible way is that probably magma a small pocket of magma or reservoir at the depth of the three to four kilometers existing and new material is being added to that in this case and a volcanic eruption will happen the volcanic eruption which will lead to some deposition and lava flows in the surface